Hi, in this slide, we're looking at the third F, which is factually. Um, and what inter what's interesting about facts is, is that when we present new facts, for example, uh, line item profit analytics will reveal big cross subsidies between super profitable customers, for example, and super unprofitable. When we first do that, the fact that we have these new facts does not initially trump habitual thinking. People just look at the biggest losing customer who they thought was like one of their most important customers because it's a lot of activity, a ton of activity, a lot of margin dollars, good margin percent, and we always thought that was a great account. So we, it's just really hard to sort of say instantly, oh, my best account is actually my biggest losing account. Uh, that that's just very hard. So people just kind of go into dial and, you know, fetal position, whatever. They just don't want to see it. However, what's great about uh, good ranking reports that come out of line item profit analytics <clears throat> is that we can take very small slices or very small steps. We don't have to have a big program tomorrow where we're going to change the entire commission program for all the salespeople to starting tomorrow uh, and pay them not on margin dollars, but net profit uh, improvement, delta PBIT, profit before interest and tax, because then salespeople are going to work on both the margin dollars, but also the cost to serve, which is the flip side of the coin for the customer's total procurement cost. Uh, and won't that be grand because that's really what the trends have been telling us in all these channels of distribution for the last 24 years. That's just too big. That's just too much. So how do we basically zero in on, you know, here's one customer and they love us. We love them. They're very open, accessible. CEO to CEO can start a conversation. Nobody's going to get defensive or threatened, whatever. And we can just, you know, we can do experiments with them because we've done experiments with them in the past. And that will allow us to take a lose-lose relationship and be mindful and look at it and figure out how to create a new win-win relationship that hopefully is so compelling the customer say, you know what, this is so fantastic, I, I can't afford not to give you the rest of my business. So it's a twofer. We, we, we turn a negative into a gain, and then we added 20, 30, 40, 50, 100% more volume to it. Um, and then from that experiment and experience, we can say, well, let's go to our second most friendly, progressive, whatever, biggest losing customer and kind of move down the, 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 the schedule of losing accounts to go with the guys who are just big, bad bullies. Uh, but by then, we really know our stuff and uh, we're ready to, to you know, uh, negotiate uh, and educate pretty firmly. So uh, that's what's great about being able to take very small measured slices or steps. Another thing that's very good about uh, sort of a parallel or complementary line item profit analytic reporting system, if you will, is that we need to be structurally repetitive. It's not, we can't say, hey, uh, the world isn't what we thought, it's different once. It has to be five, six, 10, 15, 30, 100 times for some people. So if we have net profit analytics, which allows to, us to find new plays and we track them on an every day, every week, every month basis, and we start publishing praising statements about people who are actually doing new stuff with new insights and new plays, uh, and all the peers, you know, all the guys are tied into teams and all the teams are tied ultimately into the same bottom line reality of gain sharing, that starts to move the whole herd some people are quick, some people are slow, but they all start moving generally in the in the in the right direction. Uh, in some cases, they might not, because gee, with this new environment where everything is so transparent and so measurable and visible, and asking us all to change and get on the path of mastery and so forth, some people are just thinking, you know, I'm just this is just too much for me. I can't deal. And Everybody seems to know what I'm sticking out like a sore thumb. Maybe I better go find another job before I get fired. So, uh, you know, I have to tell you as an executive in the past, it's, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, what am I going to do with so-and-so? They're just not fitting the team and they knock on my door and they come in to say that they're actually moving on. That's a beautiful exit. So uh, it's very important to have uh, the right new facts uh, consistently, systematically around us to help inform our decisions and help inform our new direction that we're going. End of that sermon. Thank you.